Hi everyone, my name is Jamira, or Myra for short. I'm a creative pro at Apple Brickle City Center in Miami, Florida, and this is Creative Projects. Today, we'll be learning how to direct, shoot, and edit powerful portraits on iPhone with Harlem-based photographer Mark Clennon. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to capture powerful portraits of your own. Mark's photos embrace one of my favorite and most powerful creative mottos, which is, less is more. And a lot of his work is captured right on the streets of New York City, often on an iPhone. It wasn't until 2017 that he quit his job to pursue photography full-time. Did I mention he's self-taught? I also can't help but notice that he crops his photos in a way that zooms in on someone's unique feature or accessories, and through that, he transforms it into a source of power. Let's go all the way into the studio in New York City so we can learn from Mark himself. Portraiture kind of found me. I had just moved to New York City from Florida. So I'm walking around the city with my iPhone, just taking pictures of buildings, taking pictures of people. Anything I could find that was very interesting to me, because from there, I kind of felt like I wanted to become a better storyteller. And that's when I started to introduce people's faces into my works. Yeah, that's fire, 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 fire. All right, let's reset. I think an important technique that I like to use is giving energy to get back a lot of energy. I like to exaggerate my poses. That way my subject feels comfortable exaggerating their poses as well. And so we can get a good image that translates well through camera. Yeah, yeah, let that shoulder hang down. That's dope, that's dope. It's really just about exploring and moving our limbs at first and finding what we like and then just exploring what works once we find it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you kicking right now. You cooking with gas right now. I use photography as a way to make friends. It's kind of an excuse for me to bring my camera into a studio and say, hi, I'm Mark, I have a camera, let's be friends, right? And so we're kind of guiding each other along this process of making a portrait that we both like. There we go, there we go. Let's try straight up now. Let's try straight up. Let's do, let's be like a, let's do like a T. Another technique that I like to use is getting coverage and then getting creative. And what I mean by that is I like to start off far away and work my way in. I go high, I go low, around, and then I like to get really creative and get the extra credit stuff. All right, so I'm gonna stay right here, but I have like three different cameras on this so I can go wide. Oh, this is dope, yeah, I like this, yeah. That can come in tight. Yeah, 3D, 3D, there it is. I tend to shoot a lot of photos, and I just zoom through them. I'm always looking for shapes and things that might catch my eye. That's why you see so many of my images cropped in really closely, because I decided that I love the specific elements of this photo, so I zoomed in and removed the rest of it. For me, it's about highlighting what I love. What are the things I want to celebrate in a specific photo? The first thing I'm looking for is nice framing, because I love the shape of his hands. I love how Uzmark's eyes are kind of finding me in that frame, so I think this is a good crop. I think this is a good way to improve the photo, and I'm gonna keep it right here. You know, I'm gonna try nine by 16. I think that'll be fun. Um, I'm not sold on it, though. I think I'm gonna go back to eight by 10, just so we have a little bit more space to work with. Because really, what cropping is, I wanna see how things emerge from the borders. So I think this is a good crop, because it leaves us wanting to ask for more. I'm gonna look at this image. I'm always looking for extra credit. I'm in exploratory mode right now, which is my favorite part of this. I love the fact that I can test and try and undo to explore different ways to view this photo. I like where we landed here. We have like some shadow play and a nice composition, so I like this one. Thanks, Mark, for walking us through your process. Let's recap. First, we learned all about how to give energy to get energy. In other words, how to bring 120 when your subject's at 80, or meeting them at 100 when they're at 100. Next, we started out wide, then got close, to get all the typical framing and poses done before experimenting with more unexpected ones. Finally, we learned how to crop for impact by looking through our selects for interesting shapes before zooming in to mine them for extra portrait gold. We're adding new episodes regularly, so if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. Or send this video to a friend. And as always, check out Today at Apple Sessions in stores to learn more ways to take great photos, make cool videos, or even level up your drawing skills, all using iPhone, iPad, or Mac. Most importantly, remember to share your portraits with the hashtag Today at Apple 
because I'll be here waiting to check them out. Don't worry, I'm patient. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.